what happens is the person, uh, the PhD or the MD in private practice, he, along with coaches in his practice, will get trained to do CogMed. Okay? They come back in their practice, and the PhD or the MD is the quality assurance person. Their job is to oversee the quality level of all the cases that are seen in that practice. But it's also to provide the rule out for other things that may make a person inappropriate for CogMed. Things that can make inappropriate for CogMed might mean an anxiety disorder, maybe OCD. It might be depression. If you're so depressed, it's hard to motivate you. Even external motivators have a tough time motivating you. If you're so defined, you don't want to do it. You're going to have a hard time doing it. So part of the role of the QA, QA is to oversee and to, make, to, to, to help make those judgment calls about whether or not a case is appropriate, but it's also to make sure the cases get seen and get done. 